The COO of Boxer Property, how are you doing today? Very well, thanks. Fantastic. How is our, our show treating you? It's been great as usual. Long time, uh, long time fan of Realcom. Yes. What, what's most exciting? What, what are some of the things that you're seeing in the show that are really opening your eyes and getting you uh, stoked? You know, I've been I've been extremely excited about the the BI vendors, the business intelligence vendors that are out there. We've seen some really cool applications, uh, and it's nice to see the penetration that that kind of stuff is having in the market. Uh, I know it's made a big difference for us, and, yeah. and seeing some of these guys rolling out new products is uh, very encouraging. Now, this conference, the watchword has been big data, and that means that we are now getting more uh, forms of information than we've ever gotten before, but that means that there's more an analyzing that needs to be done. So how are you guys, uh, how are you guys handling that, and what, do, what is the use of analytics? How is it changing your business? Well, it's, it's been huge for us. Definitely. Analytics um, was something that we really got exposed to in large part here at Realcom several years ago. Uh, I think it was Jim Whelan who, who stood up there with a book called um, Analytics at Work, and I went out and got it, and it, it really changed our attitude. What, what we look at um, in the organization are places where we can collect information, not by having to do an extra level of collection, but by the native work that people are doing. So as they do whatever it is that they're doing, uh, the, the data becomes uh, tracked and available. And then we look at it mostly on an exception basis. So what we're looking for are things that are outside of the norm. Um, sometimes those things have to be adjusted for things like occupancy and square footage. But we use it to figure out where to focus our resources. So is there a building that's having more hot and cold requests than other buildings of its, of its nature? Or um, are there construction projects that are taking longer to complete um, does the tenant satisfaction scores in a particular property uh, look different than other properties that are similar? And then we know where to go and, and, and spend our focus and attention and resources. One of the other things that we're talking a lot about are, are mobile uses and mobile applications. Where, where do you guys fall in that, uh, in that spectrum? Well, the, the, for us, mobile is an issue both in front of the house and, and, and for our internal staff. Mm. So we have obviously our website and, and our uh, ability to interact with tenants and we're very much focused on the mobile component of that. Uh, and we, we notice, like everybody else, that a huge portion of the tenants who are coming to our website are coming through mobile devices. Uh, at the same time, and, and you know, surprisingly, is we have a huge push for mobility within our own staff. So everybody from our quality assurance director who's going around and inspecting properties to our maintenance staff who are um, closing out work orders and, and, and taking note of things that need to be fixed, uh, they're, they're asking for and increasingly getting mobile devices and mobile uh, designed applications that are specifically tailored for that use. So it's a, it's a big focus for us. What are some of the other real challenges facing you that for, as far as real estate companies goes? What do you think are the biggest challenges today? Well, I think for real estate companies overall, the, the quality of their data is, is huge. You know, having a, a, a sophisticated approach to enterprise data, data management, data governance, so many things become possible after a company has, has, has conquered that uh, challenge. Uh, it's not easy to do. It's taken us a couple of years, frankly, to get there. And I think now we're, we're seeing the nature of the projects we can accomplish and the rate of change and the rate of innovation uh, is, is astounding but because we have been able to get our data in clean shape. And I think that across the industry, there are a lot of structural issues that result in companies not really being able to maintain their data clean enough. Mm. And when you're only using it, when the, when the person who's using the data is the one who's maintaining it, that's kind of okay. But when one person is maintaining it and 50 other people are using it, uh, it's really not sustainable. So I think that's a huge challenge for the industry right now. Sort of training everyone on the team who's using the data to put it away correctly and use it use it in a way that doesn't get it all kind of clouded up. It's it's training, it's awareness, it's systems, it's budgets. In other words, you, you have to have the right tools and containers for information and the right policies and procedures around it. Um, and it is just unfamiliar territory for a lot of, uh, a lot of the commercial real estate industry. What are the, some of the solutions that you guys use to keep the data so clean? Well, our system of record, you know, our, our uh, main application is Yardi, which we've been using for many, many years. Sure. And we're, we're, uh, we're very happy with They're it. They're right over there. 
Hi guys. <laughs> um, so we're a big Yardie shop, and, yeah. and our our uh, algorithm is, hey, is can we put it in Yardie? And if we can, then we do, and that that is the um, the, the sacrosanct data for us. Mm. Um, we also are big fans of Salesforce. We've been using Salesforce for many years, and we're we're in the middle of our third kind of re-implementation. Um, and then the last product that we use is is somewhat unknown in the in the industry, but it's really a phenomenal product. It's um, uh, it's called M Files. Okay. M as in Mary. Yeah. And it's a document management system, but it just has the the most beautiful architecture. If you if you are into that kind of thing, yeah. um, we we did a fairly exhaustive search. And we found this product that was able to integrate with a lot of other things that we were doing, and we we've added that to our uh, you know the the, the three main programs: uh, Yardi, Salesforce, and M Files. Is that's really our the core of our application world. When you look around the show and you see other new technology offerings, is there anything in particular that's jumping out at you as a real possibility uh, for, for the, next, the next big thing for you guys? Well, I think that there are, um, there are a few systems that, that are in a kind of a similar space and it has to do with visualizing information both internally from a BI standpoint and also externally. Um, for for tenants, you know, you have uh, 42 floors. You have uh, view the space. Mm. Um, you have a comp stack, which is similar but but more internally facing. Uh, I think that those kinds of applications that effectively outsource a component of a company's marketing um, and and allow an organization to uh, to spend more resources on it because they're doing it for more for more real estate owners. Uh, that's a very interesting category. So I think those guys are going to be seeing a very interesting year ahead. For you guys, what 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 is up for you in the year ahead? What are you seeing in the future? The challenges and the opportunities. Well, I think continuing to uh, to be able to access our financial data uh, through integrated systems is is big for us. You know, we're wrestling with the idea of how do we get to the information we want and how do we put it in the right place. And then also, frankly, managing growth. You know, we've, we have been growing tremendously. Uh, our pace does not seem to be slowing down. And that raises a lot of operational challenges. And that's something that's very much uh, in our mind. Kind of a luxury problem. It's a good problem to have. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being on the show, Justin. Thank you. And uh, we look forward to uh, more things from you and from Boxer. Very good. Thanks Appreciate a lot. Appreciate the time. Appreciate you sharing your thoughts with us. Uh, having an amazing afternoon here at Conference Live, sponsored of course by MRI. They're our sponsor and one of the leaders in the industry. And uh, coming up in a minute, are we taking a break? Sure, why don't we? Take a quick break and we'll be back with David Post, President and CEO of MRI Software.